what is up what is good you guys and welcome back to the channel if you guys are new here what's up what's good boo my name is courtney but you can call me b if you guys are old basis to the channel girl what's good friend and how you been what's up to all my new subbies i see we have quite a few you guys i thank you all so much for being here like y'all Y'all are lit. Kudos to, kudos to you. Today I am bringing you guys my updated minimal luxury bag collection. I am what you would call a denounced big spender, um, over consumer, over spender, the it girl, that girl enthusiast. So with me now in my life keeping a lot of things simple, a lot of my previous bags had to go. This big merger and Exile started sometime, I wanna say last year. I did link the video in my last video, but I will also link it down below so you guys can see that your girl got rid of quite a few bags, and a few bags have left the building between then and now. So I did want to kind of update you guys and show you guys what I have left from what I had left. It was giving aesthetic, okay? Aesthetic, yes, but functional, no. Zero out of 10. Would not recommend. They did not bring value or joy to my life. If you guys are OGs from way back when then you know your girl deals in affordable luxury and if you don't know what that means you better get down in the comments and ask somebody sis this is fake that's it's fake. A, it's a fake. Yeah, that's Photoshop. That's fake. So nothing in today's video is going to be a super crazy astronomical price point, which is exactly how we like to keep it here. I know that's right. Along with me showing you guys the goodies, I'm going to also be sharing with you a few super affordable bag options to my bags that I happen to stumble across on the internet. All bag links that I can produce will be down below in the description box because y'all know I'm just raw like that. All right, so let's cut the chat. Grab you a snack, sis, and let's get into these bags. All right, so this first bag is definitely a fan favorite. You guys go crazy over this bag every time I feature it on my channel. When I first featured it on my channel, you guys halfway bit my head off looking for this link, looking for this bag, and sis, I'm still searching. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have noticed, but even the luxury side of luxury has gotten dumb expensive. Like, it's crazy. It, it's good to have a silver bag in my collection, personally. This is my silver Prada tote. Now, this bag does come with a strap, and this is typically how I like to wear her. I wear her as a crossbody. I hardly ever hold her like this, simply because it's just, there's too much work. <laughs> I really just have her across me, walk with her in the mall, walking with her in the store, and she does me just fine. Now, my only qualm is that it does not zip. Is this bag empty? Just making sure. <laughs> this bag does not zip, so it is an open-topped bag. So if you flip this over, or you have to be moving and juking a little bit too much, your bag is gonna topple over and spill. There's not really any security here. I would love if it did have a zipper. It's not the option that we have with this bag. This bag, I don't wear often. However, she does get enough wear out of me for me to keep her and not give her away so to the left or the right of me you guys should be seeing the affordable option to the silver product tote and that is going to be the fashion nova slither my way handbag in silver this is super cute okay this is really really cute and it's actually the closest i could find to this bag it's the same shape, same everything. This has the snake detailing and also the snake or croc embossed um, finish, which I think is really cute. Um, and definitely the price is even cuter. This bag still gives you the option of carrying it top handle and also has a crossbody strap, which is amazing. And this bag was $26.99, but now it is on sale for $12, sis. So do with that what you will. That is the affordable swap for the silver Prada tote. I'm trying to get all of these bags together at once because they are three of the same. And that is going to be my Chanel double flaps. I have these in three different colors and I have them in white and like a camel khaki color. And of course my OG black one. This one has been with me throughout in and out, in and out of time. This is definitely a true staple. All of the bags are beautiful in all of their colors. However, she just gets the most wear out of me because you guys know I am a black 
wearing fiend. I love black. I get my wear out of her. This bag comes with a lot of compartments, which I love, which is why I wear her so much because she's functional. Secure, of course, with the lock in the front. She does have a zipper here that is functional. And then there is a little secret pocket in the back, which I just stuff receipts and stuff in. And there is a little small pocket in the front right here. Also, we have the regular inside of the bag and some two pockets inside. It's the functionality of it all, right? Which is what I can appreciate. We love a nice functional queen. These two are actually a lot more affordable. If I can find the link to these bags, I will link them down below. Now getting on to the affordable options. First option that I found is on Shein and that is the, y'all know Shein names be long. I'll put it here on the screen so y'all can see. This bag was $10.50. According to the website, it says $7.40. Now, I'm not sure if it is because I have an account on Shein. We have a couple of more. Now, this bag actually gives me um Chanel boy bag vibes, but I would think it would be robbery if I did not include it in this video because it still gives that kind of um that kind of feel, that kind of aesthetic, that little crossbody and flat feel. Next bag is from the brand Generic and it is on Amazon. And this is the Fashion Trendy Ladies Side Bag Small Chain. They about as bad as she in, what's going on? This bag is running for $17.37, which is a very good price. Another white option that I found on Amazon is this one here. And this one runs for $20.99. We have another Amazon when it comes to my khaki camel bag. This is the closest thing I could find that was at a very, very good price point and gave the same type of vibes. We're not big on logos and baby girl, this is their option right here. Logos mean nothing to me <laughs> anymore. Like next in the lineup while we are on the Chanel flap train, I do have a mini Chanel flap and that is in white. Now pretty much the same concept as the medium flaps except the fact that it does not have um, two flaps, it just has one. It's functional, um, I love how small and tiny it is. Ever, I do not pick her up as often. Honestly and truly, I don't really see a purpose in having two white bags, so one of these may have to go. I love the crossbody chain. That's definitely been a theme of mine lately. I love the functionality of a crossbody. I love to be hands-free. As far as the dupes go with this bag, I found one that's the closest that I could find from Forever 21. This is a different swap that I found because the initial bag that I listed in this video um, online was sold out or the link is broken and honestly you guys I feel like this second swap looks a whole lot better looks a lot more dupish so this is the best option for this bag Next on the lineup, we have my Burgundy Balenciaga Mini City Bag. This is a bag I'm geared towards for the fall time. So the closer we get to those cooler months, I definitely pull her out simply because of the color. Now the functionality of this bag is pretty okay. My only qualm is with myself that I lost the crossbody strap because I hate toting a bag with a hand. I love being hands-free. To open this bag is very tight. You don't have much room. However, I don't carry a lot. This is the closest bag swap dupe that I could find. For some reason, when I look at the AliExpress website on my computer, compared to it being on my phone, the prices are different. On my phone, it's $29.26. Computer, the price is $9.31. Why are the prices different? You guys let me know down below. If you guys are getting that same problem, either way it go, it's still affordable, but that $9.31 is definitely hitting a little bit more if you have that option. Buy it through your computer and make sure you guys have an account through AliExpress because it's giving significant money off through the computer, the desktop version. And last but not least, we have my Marc Jacobs tote bag. And sis definitely has gotten her feel of me. As you can tell, she is very dingy, very worn. If I like my bag, sis gets worn and this gives me a very good feeling. She's getting her wear time, like I'm getting my money's worth out of sis. I've had this bag a little over a year and out of all of these bags she has to have to have been my most worn bag. Like she definitely has got me through so much. She carries so much. She's very durable. I love the thickness of the strap. My only qualm with this bag is to not hold its shape. So a quick fix, just get a purse organizer, which I am looking for one that's best suitable for me. However, I am considering on maybe possibly getting the leather version of this, and that may give me a better structural, you know, aspect of the bag. Now I did find a couple of dupes um, for this bag, affordable swaps for this bag, and I found three. The first one being from Shein, and this one is running for 16 dollars 
30. Now, with all these bags, I do recommend that you guys look at the reviews. Sometimes the reviews can be a little bit more detailed than the actual um, product listing because they'll have pictures and everything and videos. I found the last two on AliExpress. That one on my phone is running for $6.47, which is an awesome deal. And then the last one on AliExpress is running for $17.98. And like I said, if I happen to find any more affordable swaps that are pretty close and spot on along the way after this video, I will post the updated links on my community tab. And yeah, you guys, that is the end of today video that is my entire minimal luxury bag collection i really, really hope you guys enjoyed today's video very short sweet and to the point i pride myself in not having a lot of these bags the only one items in my closet that i love this time around and these are the bags i'm starting off with i'm not saying i'm not gonna buy any other bag however if i do buy a different bag something here has to go once again, anything that I can list and link, I will have listed and linked down below in the description box. Make sure you check that out. Also, you guys, comment down below which bag shown in today's video is your personal favorite. If you guys have any bag recommendations, leave those down below as well. And yeah, you guys, I love you all to the moon and back. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>